Hey, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up Google Analytics on System IO. So you go to your Google Analytics and then you create property. Now, property means that it's every one of your websites is considered a property. So you can see I've got a bunch of websites. I'm gonna create a create property. Now it's going to ask me their name. So I'm gonna call it website DIY course com because that's the name of the website that I want to get it currencies US dollars next small increase my conversion analyze my online sales measure lead generation those are the three reasons why I'm doing it create now choose platform it gives you a little tour here is the click site so you can walk through all of that see the overview reports, gain deeper understanding, advertising, view events. Okay, so that's all something that can be configured. Okay, good enough. So now I'm going to go to website DIY course and I need to basically connect the details so I, the information actually gets sent. So to do that, I'm gonna go to settings. Once you're here, you need to go to data streams Click on web, because that's where the website is coming from, www.websitediycourse.com. This is gonna be websitediycourse.com. And it will be page views, scrolls, up on clicks. Yeah, that's all good. I want to have everything, all the information, that's fine. Create stream. Now I need to install this information. Now the way to install it, is I need to find the code that I can then upload, basically. In my case, I'm going to click on add new on-page tag. So use this if you're using a website builder or a customer management system, I think it's the name, hosted site. So this is an example of system IO, and you add it on the head of the website, okay? So what it means is I simply click on copy, then I go to system IO, and in system IO, I go to sales funnel settings, which can be found here. So click here, settings, sales funnel settings, and then this, I already have the Facebook pixel installed, and now I'm going to paste in the code of the Google Analytics. Click on save, settings have been saved. I'm gonna go back to Google Analytics, and I have now installed it. Now, there is no actual information because I, I literally just installed it. So that's pretty much it once it's installed the information should start to be received. So now it's just a matter of waiting just to make sure that it's all done correctly, but it should start appearing. Now I also recommend you download the app on your phone. So I have Google Analytics app on my phone that is available. And here I can see all my numbers. And in here, I'll be able to see all the visitors and things like that, and all the information that I want to see as well. If I switch the account, which I'm doing now, I can already see as I switch, I actually have the account available on my app right away and I can actually see what's going on basically. Now, I'm not seeing anything yet because I just connected it a second ago, but the data is there and um, I can actually see it. So that's about it. Now, what I did is I went and in checked the website link on Chrome Incognito, and then you can see users in the last 30 minutes, and this was me. So you can see that I just logged in, and therefore the data is being sent. That's how you verify. It should be instant. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used System or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software, and all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive, and when you feel confident like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply 27 a month, or you can also get 197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you want to check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. 
Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System I.O., definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.